Hey y'all, Data Guy here, back with another viewer request video. This time, taking a look at Apache Iceberg and Apache Hootie. Um, and really, I want to kind of break down both of these formats because they're both two great tools for big data management. Um, and they're very prominent open source table formats. But I want to talk about what each of these is really best for because what's best for Apache Hootie might not be what's best for Apache Iceberg. So what I'm really gonna help you develop a framework for in this video is understand, hey, what's the architecture both look like? How does that architecture uh, align them with certain use cases? What are the features that they have to support those different use cases? What are their really best features? And then really sum it up with, hey, the different use cases breaking down exactly what those use cases are and why Iceberg or Hootie is best suited for that particular use case. So no matter what your use case is, you can walk away from this video with an understanding of how either Apache Iceberg or Apache Hootie or maybe even both uh, could help you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first I want to just get started by kind of breaking down the key features of how Apache Hootie is architected. And Apache uh, Hootie actually stands for Hadoop Upsert Delete and Incremental. Um, and that is kind of because it's designed around managing and processing data in a data lake with support for record level opera operations like inserts, updates, and deletes. This, now, to support this, Hootie enables efficient data change, change data capture and real time stream processing by providing two key table types copy on write tables, and merge on read tables. Copy on write tables store the latest version of records with each update creating a new file, while merge on read tables maintain both the base file and the delta logs recording what changes have occurred, and that offers a balance between query performance and data freshness. So you actually have two data types included data table types included within Apache Hootie that are combined to really optimize it for uh, being able to constantly update and then read from an updated table over time. So now that we've covered Apache Hootie, let's go into Apache Iceberg. Um, and so Apache Iceberg is at its core a really high performance table format that is designed to handle petabyte scale data sets with complex scheme evolution and also being able to support efficient querying through that complex scheme evolution. So Iceberg provides a robust metadata management layer uh, overarching all of your different data sets, which supports both batch and streaming data processing. So its architecture really emphasizes immutability and schema evolution, allowing for changes in the schema without breaking existing queries. And Iceberg also supports hidden partitioning, which simplifies query optimization by abstracting the underlying data format from the end users. So now I wanna talk about some of the key features and how each platform handles it. So the key features I'm gonna be talking about are scheme evolution, how each platform handles that, partitioning and indexing, how each platform handles that, data consistency, asset compliance, performance, and scalability. First, let's talk about scheme evolution. So Apache Iceberg, this is where Apache Iceberg really excels um, in supporting scheme evolution by offering really flexible and safe scheme modifications including you know, adding, dropping, renaming, ordering columns, really just out of the box. And it all happens through this metadata layer. Um, so what this metadata layer does is basically take the old manifest spot list, figure out what the schema was before, figure out what the schema needs to be after that, and then make those adjustments so that when someone even queries using that old schema, it'll still serve them the right data. Um, and so it really, supports evolving partition schemas without needing to ever rewrite your data, which is a really significant advantage in large scale environments, especially if you're in a large scale environment that's also experiencing a large degree of change. So with Apache Hootie, you have still have the ability to support scheme evolution with the ability to add, drop, and rename files. It just works slightly different. Um, where with Apache Hootie, you have backwards and forward uh, compatibility with schema changes. So you can go back and forth um, to query an old schema, but managing really complex schema changes is a little bit more of an involved process where you will potentially need to do some kind of rewriting. Um, however, you still also have the ability to handle different schema evolutions. You have that snapshotting, you have uh, those two different files that are collecting you know, both the current data and the delta log of the change of the data between now and then. 
but really Apache Hootie is more for, uh, it isn't as well suited to handle tons and tons of constant data changes. Um, it's more for b data that the, in, you know, the maybe rows are getting deleted, added, upsorted all the time. So more of a transactional database rather than a database that needs to constantly evolve um, and change its schema. So now I want to talk about partitioning and indexing. And Hootie is great for allowing users to define custom partitioning schemes and then support automatic indexing for efficient record level operations like you're seeing here, where you have the different tables broken up into different smaller indexes, so you don't need to necessarily search all of that uh, data to merge it, right? So you can see the total merge cost for merging all this data would be 600 megabytes of data versus double that uh, in non-index, non hootie tables. Um, so this is great when you need to constantly query, you know, this changing data and these MLR tables leverage bloom filters and range indices for even faster queries on those delta logs. So you can really quickly get, you know, both the original data set and the changes that have occurred and serve that data back to you uh, as quickly as possible. So really great format for, you know, being able to efficiently query uh, data repeatedly at a low cost because if you're querying a lot, it's going to add up. So now the way Apache Iceberg handles partitioning is a little bit different. So Apache Iceberg introduces hidden partitioning, which automatically optimizes partitions based on query patterns. You see this kind of query pattern up here where it's two different partitions by month and day. Iceberg automatically assigns that. Um, and so this reduces the need for manual partition management. And this feature combined with the ability to also use column level statistics for query pruning makes Iceberg really highly efficient for complex queries because it's able to break down those really advanced, you know, complex queries into their different subcomponents that might need to be partitioned and then create those different partitions on the back end without you needing to actually get in there and do it. So now <clears throat> I want to talk about asset guarantees, asset compliance and data consistency in both of these tools. So Apache Iceberg supports really strong data consistency with full asset compliance. Um, and its snapshot isolation ensures that queries can always see a consistent view of the data. So you can always go back to, you know, where the data was five minutes ago, if there is new data that's being ingested or updated at that point in time that you're looking uh, at that particular data. Um, so you have really good guarantees that any data you get from it is asset compliant. Oh, Jeremy. Me? I'm not the one. So now for Apache Hootie, uh, the way that it performs asset compliance ensures data consistency is a little bit different, but it does still offer real-time data consistency with asset compliance because you have both a timeline of metadata, it references the different file groups uh, that can check at runtime to ensure that all changes are atomic, consistent, isolated, and durable. And then additionally, Hootie's MOR table that we talked about earlier allows for data freshness with minimal latency because those changes that might have just occurred are merged on read with the base kind of last snapshot to make sure you're getting the most updated version of the table, but also with a delta change to everything. So you know that, hey, there's not any duplicates, any duplicates would have already been taken out. So you know that that data is also asset compliant. So now the last area I wanna cover is scalability and performance. Apache Hootie is really optimized for scenarios where data freshness and record level operations are crucial. So things like streaming data pipelines, batch data pipelines, and those merge on read tables and those use cases offer a good trade off between query performance and data freshness. But if you're managing really, really large delta logs with lots of complex schema changes, that can int introduce a lot of overhead and make it less efficient because you're gonna have to do a lot more manual handling of those cases. However, if you're just constantly reading and writing tons of data of relatively similar format, Apache Hootie is probably a great tool for you because it is optimized for those types of situations and constantly ingesting data while also making it really easy to read for anyone that's consuming that data. Now, on the other hand, with Apache Iceberg, here you have a slightly different architecture, but not one that is any less uh, powerful for performing and scalability. Um, because Iceberg is really designed for high performance queries on large, complex data sets, really particularly suited for batch processing environments. So Hootie, if you're more streaming, you're probably going to go Hootie, but Iceberg, if you're doing really complex batch processing workloads and lots of schema changes, 
it's focused on minimizing file counts and really optimizing the data layout automatically makes it really well suited for analytical workloads because it's going to, over time, understand how you're making your queries and adjust your actual partitions to handle that. Um, so it's really powerful and kind of doing a lot of that heavy lifting for you under the hood without you ever really needing to realize it. So now let's tie this all off with the different use cases that each is best suited for. So Apache Hootie is really well suited for things like real-time analytics, where its ability to handle incremental updates and real-time ingestion really makes it ideal for those scenarios where data needs to be analyzed as soon as it arrives. It's also really well optimized for change data capture. Hootie's kind of rock solid support for upserts and deletes and architecting around that allows it to really efficiently capture and manage changes in the data, making it really suitable for change data capture pipelines. Additionally, streaming data processing. Hootie has really good integrations with streaming frameworks like Apache Kafka and Apache Flink and Spark, which makes it a strong choice for stream data processing as well. Um, so those are really kind of like the three main use cases I would say you would want to immediately go to Apache Hootie for. Now, Apache Iceberg, on the other hand, is really well suited for things like batch process processing workloads and data lake architectures, specifically data lake house architectures. Number one, for batch processing, Iceberg's really efficient metadata management and query optimization make it ideal for those large-scale batch processing workloads. Additionally, its data lakehouse architecture is really at its core. Um, it's got support for both batch and streaming data and has the ability to handle really robust and complex schema evolution capabilities. That makes it a really strong candidate for building those data lakehouse architectures because those are core needs for having a true data lakehouse that doesn't turn into a data swamp. And then additionally, really any use case where you have really complex schema changes and schema evolution over time that you can't have impact existing queries makes it perfectly suited for environments where you need that schema to evolve over time. You need to have it supported without a lot of manual intervention. So that's really all the facts laid out for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a better picture of whether Hootie or Iceberg is the right tool for you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Data guy out.